What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys have been enjoying the channel with all the new videos that we're trying to post daily. I know we're getting like four to five out a week. Um, but yeah, anyways, as you guys saw with the thumbnail, you're probably wondering what that meant with this has to go. And I am talking about this absolute horrible mess that we have in this 4,000 square foot shop. It is literally 4,000 square feet of a disaster right now. Everywhere I go, there is a mess. So drives me absolutely nuts throughout the week when we're trying to work. So I'm here trying to get this thing taken care of so we can have a nice fresh start to get this thing finished. So as you can see, there's really a mess everywhere. Got the scooters, it's supposed to be our camera table. It's got chargers, it's got air tools. Um, yeah, so, I mean, look at this. It's just a, it's a nightmare right now. So, the downside with everything is there's not a lot of storage space or shelving stuff. I got, obviously got the big ones there, but I don't have a lot of the littler shelves yet um, in the shop just because we've been so busy trying to get these built and taken care of. To make money so that's where we're at i'm gonna get this stuff all organized the best i can um, i need to get hooks for extension cords stuff like that still need to get my air compressor over here power far, far as the power reels go for the electrical cords stuff like that you know i'd like to get um air ran somewhere around the lifts you know far as a, a reel goes for air and power somewhere in this general area um just so you guys remember there's there are two parts to this shop i'll walk you guys up there real quick so it's probably dark but there's two parts of the shop the four foot ledge here and i even have a mess up here as well so <laughs> fenders and a couple of dog kennel here for the little one but lots of space just not organized to my likings yet and i'm going to take care of that today so i hope you guys enjoy somewhat of these you know, the stale video i would say i just try getting everything i can on camera for some you know some content i know you guys there's a few of you guys on here at least that enjoy the day-to-day -day on what goes on in this shop not just you know a couple times a week we stop by here and do that's not no this is our <laughs> This is our job. So, anyways, I'm gonna get going on this, and I hope you guys enjoy. We'll All see. right, I'm gonna get this rotisserie Bronco body pulled out of here. If you guys haven't noticed, there's a humongous, what, six inch little uh, gutter that's cut in here. So, we gotta put these little bridges out. Get this over. Nothing crazy, it works pretty good. Just like that. front or sorry the back a little pry bar boom all right a lot more room now I guess I can leave those there so yeah get this all rearranged. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to have to take all of this out, unbox it. I haven't decided if I want to run tables on that back wall. Just let all, or lay all these parts out, get this pallet and boxes out of here. I just want everything that I touch, you know, surface and not, you know, the Yeti car. I don't want that being a shelf for stuff. So everything needs to have its place so we're trying to figure that out and i don't honestly i don't think that anything's had its place since it's been in the shop so <laughs> just trying to create that organization and um the place for everything so yeah you know got the rotisserie out smooth and time lapse are going so yeah stay tuned <laughs> all right guys just like I said before, one thing that drives me crazy is not being organized. All right, 
camera's probably bright, or the sun. So, that's what these tables are for. Well, you guys are probably like, just build a workbench. This is our workbench. <laughs> so, these tables have been, uh, they've actually worked out really well in the past. While working in the garage. So, that's what we're gonna do here. done. I don't know how hard it's going to be to see. Got all the Milwaukee boxes off the ground. Plenty of storage up here. Trash can at the corner. Got all the screws there. Empty ones there. Sorry if the wind is blowing in this mic. But uh, got all the Bronco stuff. I mean, you can see fuel fittings. There was the hydraulic fittings for the hydro assist on the other Bronco. Brake fittings. Those are all Bronco parts. TIG, TIG welder, um, tungsten stuff, stuff like that. So anyways, you know, slowly, slowly coming together. I know if I was looking around, probably doesn't look like much, but it is getting 10 times better. This is gonna stay the way it is for now. Like I said, until we get that pallet jack. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do is get all that cleaned up down there. Put that the caulking and stuff over on that shelf down below by that control box or the breaker panel. But uh, yes, yeah, flown right along, so stay tuned. All right, so got the sanding table pretty much done. I got my time lapse camera. Go back downstairs. I'll show you guys what I got going on. So, set this up real quick. So you guys, take a look. House is all going to go down. These pan the butts that become shelves throughout the day are going to get fixed right now so this will pretty much be a wrap i hope for the day these are the things that drive me nuts so i'm gonna get this all cleaned up tools on one parts on the other keep things simple these things are pretty cool they're all oh well, they did open oh, yeah so you can see they open so trying to figure out if we should make one of these a sanding one but we're almost done with all that so we'll probably just stick to this but uh this type of organization that i'd love to see around here so stay tuned we're almost done for the day guys guys that's a wrap a long day i think i got here around 8 39 and it's about 3 30 right now so typical day but you can see everything's cleaned up that's how it should stay end of every day 
This is strictly, a, I mean, it may look like a mess, but this is just a sanding table. This will be gone once we get done sanding. Parts table, 12 feet of parts table. Up there is the second body. Obviously got this all picked up. So much better. You guys have no clue how happy I am with this. I'm gonna throw some stuff back in the toolbox. Just the body up here, all parts. Stuff that needs to be prepped for epoxy primer, doors, windshield. I think the fenders are over there. Dogs can stay up here during the day. More table space over there for some in or uh, incoming stuff. You know, the shipments that come in, we can just set over here for we can divide them up. Ship or the jig table for the new body. That's the new frame for the 71 build that we're going to start once the 72 is finished but uh yeah you know it was a busy day chris will probably be flying around trying to find everything that was out i left most of the stuff out for you know our typical use that we do down here for right now but as you can see we can now work in here comfortably so sure it will only take a couple days to get messy again but uh yeah that's a wrap for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed